welcome back. This is the 22nd training vlog. I made a pretty big realization and a breakthrough in my bench press in this session. Before I break it down, make sure to click that link down below and check out my Patreon. I am up to four Patreons and my goal is 20. When I hit 20 Patreons, I will be releasing a Patreon exclusive Q&A. Um, you can start posting your questions on there now. You can leave them underneath any of the posts I have made on there so far. And I will make sure to put them on a list. Once I hit that 20 mark, I will film and upload that exclusive Q&A to Patreon, answering all the questions in great detail. Okay, so now on to the training here. You can see uh, I don't have much of an arch going on on my secondary bench day. I do a flat back bench press. That way um, I'm not relying solely on so much arch and I can use more of a range of motion. I can uh, move the scapula through a natural rhythm. Uh, I got this little tip from Alpha Destiny. If you don't know who he is, make sure you look him up and check out his channel. He drops tons of great gems for natural lifters. Anyways, I got uh, 145 for two sets of 15. Uh, since this flat back bench pressing is still relatively new to me, I am not trying to push it too hard. I'm slowly going to build my you know, adaptations in this new uh, position. That way, once the weight does get heavy, I will be ready to handle it and I won't get hurt. And as you can see, I am using a close grip. I am going to go back to close grip. Uh, you know, I spent uh, the last three or four months doing exclusively medium grip. And, you know, my pecs got a little bit bigger, but I never really felt powerful like I did with a close grip. You know, I just ended up getting hurt and uh, setting myself back. So, you know, I realized, hey, I'm built for close grip. Um, I'm stronger with it. I feel a lot more powerful with it. My joints feel great with it. So I think it's going to be the way to go moving forward. I'll still do medium grip once in a while, but it's more so going to be for an assistance movement that I'll throw in a few times a year, and that's about it. So after the benching, I moved on to the upright row. This is my first time doing this actually since 2020, and I did hit a 20-pound PR uh, the last time I was doing my sets of 10 to 12 with 100 pounds. You know, first day back at it, I loaded up 120 on there, and I cranked out a set of 12 pretty easily. So I'm pretty proud of that. As you can see, my bulk's going well. My back's looking huge. Uh, I'm pretty excited for my cut, and probably, you know, somewhere between 14 to 16 weeks from now, I'll begin a cut, and I'm going to try to drop about 25 to 30 pounds, hopefully keeping most of my muscle. So at that point, my back should look pretty insane. Then uh, I dug one out of my old exercise library. This is one I picked up from Matt Wenning with the Poliquin curl, or Poliquin curl, and he got that from Charles Poliquin himself. Rest in peace. Um, I'm not really liking the movement as much as I used to. I don't know if it's because I'm older now and my elbows just can't handle it, but something about that angle and not being able to fully stretch out the bicep, you know, pulling from that slightly... Uh, curl already curled position. It just it didn't feel good on my bicep tendon, so I probably won't be doing that one again. The first few times I tried it, it felt great, and now that I'm coming back to it months later, it just uh, feels more like a preacher curl, which is a variation that I tell everyone to avoid. Uh, unless you're doing like very light weight, you're probably going to tear a bicep or cause some type of tendonitis. You know, doing a preacher curl. Last but not least, I'm finishing up here with the reverse mini band uh, SSB JM press. And I believe this is a PR here. I'm pretty sure this is the heaviest weight I've ever done. And it didn't feel too bad on the elbows. I was able to tuck them very hard. So I know that, you know, this isn't um, outside of my capabilities. Um, I'm going to try to push these up to 200 for eight within the next couple months. And if I can do that, I know I'm probably going to be hitting 315 on the bench. Uh, last time I pushed these hard, it did blow my bench up by quite a bit. You can check out my TikTok for more information on this, but just a little quick summary. You want to unscrew the handles, and then you can unrack it, uh, kind of drop it down like a bench negative till that pad hits your chest. Then you want to reverse curl the weight to your face while keeping your elbows tucked in. And then just... Uh, you know, reverse that motion to extend it back to lockout. And sorry for using the looped footage. You know, this was a pretty quick workout as I'm only doing four movements. It's just a nice way to get in some extra volume to finish out the week. 
I do have a third upper body day, but I don't do any benching. I do weighted push-ups on that day. Uh, that about wraps up the vlog. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, make sure to check out my other social medias. They got TikTok and Instagram. Thank you again for watching, and have a great day.